How you doing guys and welcome to another video and in this video I want to talk about a couple of my favorite youtubers which is uh, Wakas Kazi who talks more about grading and he helps you really to understand you know DaVinci Resolve and and what all the options do in terms of keying masking all that kind of stuff and he does a fantastic job and he works with very high-end footage usually from Aria Alexa's reds and stuff like that but sometimes he does do lower-end cameras then we have a guy called Anbury. Now Anbury is absolutely flawless in his lighting techniques and the way he composes and shoots. It's absolutely amazing and, and if you haven't seen his channel I suggest you go and check it out for some lighting tips. Now what I want to say is both of these guys work with high-end footage. Uh, the stuff that, that they're working with has been lit professionally and obviously it's going to look amazing. Now that's no, that's not a downgrade on them or anything like that. They are literally some of the best on YouTube in my opinion and you know they're doing lots of professional work and the stuff that they produce is absolutely flawless but there's people like me and you who are run and gun shooters who have zero budget and we're always filming on the streets so how do we go about getting a good you know looking scene with no lighting at all and I'm talking about not one single light just you and your camera and your talent how do we go about that so what I'm going to do in this video here is to show you how to film light without light Okay guys, so here we go, let's get into this. So I just wanna say that I'm not a professional colorist, you guys know that, and I'm just learning my way, and that's why I'm still following the guys I mentioned earlier in the uh, in the video. But I just wanna go for a quick breakdown on how I built this scene and how I shot it without any lights at all. So first of all, I wanna take a look at this overall scene, and you can see exactly where the light's coming from. So we actually have this no entry sign here and a light's just pouring off of this no entry sign which is hitting the top of the bin and hitting the floor here. Now if I skip forward just a little bit to one of my um, cut scenes, my b-roll scenes, that same light is actually lighting up the whole of this bin so I didn't actually have to do any lighting, any extra lighting at all on that scene there. And then coming back you can see we've got another lamppost here which is lighting up this part of the wall and then lighting up the floor here as well. And then we've got another light, which is another lamppost, which actually, which is um, quite high up here, which is lighting just this side. And then opposite the shops here, we've got a lamppost across the road. So my point is, when you're looking for these scenes to shoot your run and gun low budget movies, you, you have to worry about lighting, you have to think about lighting, but you can look around you for interesting places that have all the light that you need. This, I think, it just looks absolutely fantastic to me. Um, like I said, not the, the, the best grading, but the way the light just pours everywhere, it just gives me a nice dramatic scene. So if I turn all these off again, from that to that, and that's using no light, yeah? No light at all. So, like I said, you've got to kind of look around you. When you're doing these budget movies, look around you on the streets, what you can find, what looks good light-wise, if there's enough light to be used. And I'm sure you can get some great footage with it, some great kind of cinematic looking footage. And the last thing I wanted to say was, when you're shooting as well, look for interesting places. Don't just shoot anywhere. 
The reason why I chose this location here is because everything was already here for me. The bin was here, the rubbish on the floor which I picked up here was already there. Everything was there for me already. All the lighting was in the right place, so it was just perfect for me to do this short sequence. This is, you know what I'm saying, look out for interesting places that can really enhance your, your filmmaking and the depth of this as well. We've got the bin and everything at the front, we've got me in the middle, we've got the no entry sign down here, then we've got this big hill going right down and then the city in the background. And then from there, all I added was this fake snow, and then that kind of just that allows you to sell the uh, the effect. You know, it was snowing a little bit that day, but that allows you to sell the effect a bit more. I don't want to say I'm a great colorist because I'm not, but I've left a few examples from good teachers who can teach you how to do good things like lighting and coloring. All I'm here to say is don't let you know the lack of your equipment hold you back. Just go out there and shoot something amazing and learn how to bring it to life in post. Take care, guys. I'll see you on the next one later. Thank <laughs> you.